Guess what's happening? It's snowing. We're getting ready for school for Ashley and it is snowing, it's freezing. So we were in bed yeah. and we were just kind of snoozing the alarms and oh, is it really gonna snow today? And Ashley looked in, the, ro the roofs were all frosted over and uh, uh, I was like, yeah, it's supposed to snow around 10 o'clock and it's, you know, about 8.30 right now. And uh, oh, wait. and I was on Facebook and a friend of mine who yeah. used to live across the street, um, so she's talking to her friends on, <laughs> on chat. Um, so my friend who used to live across the street, she lives about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes outside of town in the woods. Like she lives out in the woods. And uh, she had put it on Facebook. She's like, and winter is starting in about two minutes. And I just kind of figured, cause she lives outside of town and she lives in the woods at higher elevation. She always gets snow before we do. And so I, I didn't think anything of it. <laughs> Not even joking you. Literally two minutes later, Ashley came running up the stairs and she's like, it's snowing. <laughs> I was like, it's not supposed to start for two hours down here. And I, anyway, I looked at the forecast really quick and this huge blanket of blue was just plastered over the entire Puget Sound, like all over, north, south, east. The whole thing is snowing and I'm like waiting for an alert to like pop up on our phone that school is canceled for Ashley. Everyone else is at school. It's not supposed to snow all day long. So I'm not sure they could just put the kids on um, bus route. Let me fix my hair. Let me <laughs> it literally is just happening and my battery is flashing. Let me get a little bit more ready, get her ready for the bus and find out if they're actually gonna have school. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. It's not sticking on the roadway. That's the thing. And so buses could get them to school. They could get them to school and then we could be on bus route to come home. Let me get ready real quick. So Ashley's pulling out these cute little boots to wear to school today, but she's got her festive pants on. She only has one more day of school. Well, today is her last day of school until Friday. Cause she has a teacher conferences this week. So she's going a little festive. What? Let's vibe. Your conference? Yeah. Tomorrow, I think. But it's virtual. All right, so now not only do I really have to be forced to wearing shoes, I have to be forced to wearing my cute coat. And I should be wearing workout gear. And I might change. But for right now, it's kind of fun to be dressed up in our snow gear. Look how cute you look. Oh, come on. Oh, can you see you? She has a little black fleece on with a hoodie and her little buffalo pants check pants and her little reindeer. It's very festive. So you're going to head out to the bus and out into the snow. Jason says it's snowing up by him, but it's not really sticking. He already told an employee not to worry about coming in, but I told him just have her come in. And then if it snows, like if it keeps snowing and keeps getting worse, then send her home. But use her while you can. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want okay, is to that, spend It's pretty cool fun to like be out in the snow. It's not something we get to experience. Yes, it's very wet snow. And yes, look at my boots. It's like completely stuck to my shoe. I have good traction on these boots, obviously. Um, it was like pulling it all off the grass. But Wharton Hall, all of us parents were like, all right, well, see you at the snow route. <laughs> we'll all have to drive our cars to the bottom of our hill and get the kids because there's no way they're going to not call a snow route and or call the kids out early from school today. If it keeps snowing, it's lightly snowing, but if it keeps snowing and it stays in the 30s, one, it could ice up the roads even if the snow doesn't stick, um, but also... Anyway, we might be on the snow route today. <laughs> so now I have to go in and find the motivation to do all the things that I meant to do today. 
Okay, I gotta like take everything off because it's soaking wet. All right, well, I don't think <laughs> this is the snow for the day. Blue is the snow. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12, one, two is when it's supposed to stop. Three o'clock, three o'clock. <laughs> oh no, oh no. I didn't know it was supposed to snow that long. <sighs> I can't sit and look at the mess all day. So I'm gonna start cleaning up um, dishes even though it's Ashley's job. The excitement of the morning kind of took over. <clears throat> I don't have any errands to run today, luckily. We did all of them yesterday. And we are literally done with Christmas shopping except for Kaylee needs to add a few things. And unless she doesn't want to. If she doesn't want to then she's done. But I need to add a few things for her and then we now have a few white elephant gifts to give for parties that we're going to. But other than that, I'm staying home today. I'm starting to get some videos of the snow, but I gotta actually hurry. Um, and just like I called it, we're on snow route for when the girls get done with school. They are gonna keep them in school all day and just put them on a snow route this afternoon. But as I was communicating with Abby and Kaylee about that, like I don't, they don't take the bus, or at least Kaylee doesn't, if she gets a ride to school. But I didn't want that ride to be responsible for getting Kaylee and Abby up the hill. And so I was like, I'll go get you whenever they decide your you know, school is out or whatever. And Abby said, can you just come and get me early, please? Um, and yes, I'm gonna turn the camera off as soon as I get out here into the snow. It's freezing. I'm gonna get my heat on. Turn Abby's seat on. Um, she's like, can you please come get me early? I'm really, I don't know if she's tired, not feeling good. It's only 11, it's 11 o'clock now. She, wanna, she needs to be picked up in 20 minutes. So I was like, you know what, it's fine because then I'll have to go back down and get Kaylee and then just do the snow route for Abby or Ashley and Chelsea. Chelsea's, anyway, it's a, it's a thing. I'm gonna put this down, go get them. Come join in us all, the feeling is here. All right, well, just got Abby home. And literally like five minutes before we were home, at Kaylee texted and she's like, hey, how come you didn't tell me that you are coming to get Abby? I'm like, because you said you had to go to culinary class and math class, so you'd have to stay till the end of school. I literally had those text messages and she's like, eh, I went and got my math and I already took notes, so I'm good to not stay for math. So can you come pick me up in an hour and a half? <laughs> I was like, I'm just, I'm literally, this is why I'm not working out today because I'm literally gonna have to do this back and forth and going to get the kids, which is fine. I'd rather be the one getting them. Um, and then I was trying to figure out how to get word to Chelsea without giving away her location of her school. It's literally at the snow route. <laughs> and so I have, we haven't experienced a snow route with her being in this new school. And so I don't know I, you know, anyway, so I just, I was going to have to call the school and send a note. Don't put her on the bus. Like, where would the buses go if that's the snow route? Anyway, it's like a whole thing. I can't really, like, divulge locations. It's kind of a confusing thing if you don't know. But anyway, all of a sudden, after I picked up Abby, um, she, her friend texted me. And she's like, hi, this is Izzy, Chelsea's friend. And I was like, hi. Can you get a message to Chelsea? This is perfect. <laughs> and then Chelsea texted and she was like, hi, I'm using her phone. Um, you know, I don't know why she was texting me. But anyway, um, I said, hey, I need to pick you up from school. So go to parent pickup. And she was like, oh, okay. And she actually wore pants today, which I was actually shocked. <laughs> she didn't know this morning that it was going to snow. Oh, you guys, it's so fun to see all the snow and the trees. The, the Northwest is, is built for snow. The trees are so gorgeous with snow on them. If you saw all that footage I just did as I was driving over to get Abby, 
it's just a shame that we don't get snow more often because it really is gorgeous. And if we had snow more often, people wouldn't be such a doofus driving in it. So anyway, Abby's home, one kid down, three more to go. Um, I'll go get Chelsea at school. No, I have to go get Kaylee in an hour. And then an hour after that, I have to go get Chelsea, but she's close. And then I'll turn right back around and do snow loop for Ashley. It's just kind of annoying. I might as well just leave my purse in the car. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be right back. Lock it in with the garage shut. All right, I promise I'm gonna film more than just in the car. I'm going back to get Kaylee now. I was home and I was able to finish editing um, one and a half videos and also ordering more Christmas presents. I forgot, I think I've had it in my head that I was done shopping, but it's because I had added it all to a shopping cart on Amazon. I um, don't technically give to my twin sister this year. We all rotate families that we give to within my siblings, um, but I always get my twin sister a present every year, but we always kinda, um, since her birthday is January, we always kinda bulk gift each other like for Christmas and for our birthday so we can save on shipping <laughs> to each other packages or whatever and I'm ahead of the game normally we actually don't give each other a gift until like February because we're both just kind of lame like that and this year I'm ahead of the game because I've been thinking about these gifts all year long and uh, maybe when I get them I'll show them to you guys because by the time I get them I'll be I had enough in the videos that I'll have already given it to her because we get to go um, down to Utah this winter, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we actually make it over the passes and actually get there. But because I can take the gifts with me, um, I have been anticipating that and so I've been kind of stockpiling them on an Amazon list. And so I was like, oh, I need to actually order that. <laughs> it just didn't occur to me that I actually hadn't ordered it. So I ordered that and then I give to my brother for Christmas and I've been stu like stewing and hemming and hawing over what to get him and his family. And uh, um, it's his daughter that's getting married. And um, then his son doesn't live at home. He's on a mission for a church. And so it's just two teenage daughters left at home. And uh, anyway, I just found an idea of what to get them. And then that spawned an idea of what to get our friend group. I think we're gonna have a white elephant gift party with our friend group this Friday. I think I don't know I need to ask everyone are we doing our Christmas party this Friday because our holidays are already stacking up and filling up so anyway we will film more than in the car and more than just snow because today seems like a festive day to go ahead and decorate the Christmas tree I was literally going to wrap presents today before all this happened because I had an open day and I don't have to go anywhere didn't have to go anywhere before now I do now it's all I'm doing um, but I realized I would have wrapped presents under a Christmas tree that's not decorated yet. <laughs> like, ah, uh, wait a minute, we have to wrap, we have to decorate the tree. This is perfect, everyone will be home from school, everyone's kind of in a festive mood, um, but there's not enough snow to go play in it. So, we're gonna decorate the tree when I get home with all the kids. It's gonna take another couple hours, so I've got some time to get out the decorations and get it all prepped. Okay, back at home, and I literally have one hour before I have to go back and get another kid. So we're gonna pull out the ornaments that I wanna go on the tree this year. So we're gonna go through all of my tins. It'll also allow me to decide how to decorate all of my little tiered trays, which I have not done yet either. So I'm gonna pull everything out. These are for the tiered trays. I didn't put that up. It has a hard time like laying flat so you can see the little gingerbread unless you hook something to it. So I didn't hang that up anywhere. And then these are all the towels that, I actually wanna put these towels in the bathrooms now. These are little Ray Dunn towels that I just didn't put up before Christmas, like before Thanksgiving, I should say. So now I can put those out. So we're just gonna grab all my other tins and see what we can find. All right, do you know what the key to decorating is? <laughs> Being organized. All of my little things were right into the piles in the bins together. These are all of the little girl sets. I have one of these little hats for each one of them. And for each one of these sets, the girls know which one is theirs. Like, I don't know why. Um, some of them like the striped and some of them want the white and the red. I have no idea why. Same with these little girls. I have had these for a very long time and 
they know which one is theirs. They're all blonde. <laughs> I think this one probably is Kaylee's because it has a little bit of darker hair. But again, the girls know which one is theirs. And we added this one. It's all kind of covered up, but it says Ohana on the sleigh. And then it has four little girls on it, little Hawaiian girls. This is the last one we picked up in Hawaii. And now I want to collect more decor. Now I want to collect more ornaments from Hawaii and make an actual palm tree tree for my office for next year. Um, but the rest of the ornaments are kind of all set. I put them into groups so that when they decorate, they put like all of these on at the same time so that they're not all grouped together. And again, the lights show way bad right here, right there, and right there. But in person, it's all like melded together. And unfortunately, you're, just, you're gonna have to see it like this <laughs> all season until we change out that one set of lights that is different, but it looks fine in person. So they'll put these kind of bulk ornaments on, the ones that have a ton of them. They'll do those ones first, at least that's what I want them to do, so that they're more spread out. And then these other ornaments where it's just like one or two of similar items, they can just be put on sporadically. I am missing my little mitten ones. Where's my mitten ones? I have them all out. I have all the decorations out of the bins. I don't know where the mittens are. Um, I'm gonna go look in the other buckets. These are all the, the decorations that I have for my tiered trays. So I have these ones out separate. Sometimes I put Mr. Santa on the tree. He kind of like sits on there. And sometimes I just use him on the trays. Um, but I kind of have these ones all set out separately along with these cute little um, gift boxes and then my tea towels. All right, so I found these stockings you haven't seen already I have the other three on the on the mantle but I don't like this color red so I just I'm gonna leave those ones there and then I think I'll just probably like display these on the shelf somewhere like over a basket down there or something I don't know we'll put them here for now and then I'll decorate that but then I did find what did I find oh I found the garland that goes on the tree and I'm gonna put that on first before the kids get home. And then I found my little stocking mittens bunch that I have here. So I have all of their decorations ready to go onto the tree. And now I'm finally inspired to maybe do the little um, table trays. So I also want to do some kind of a display here, maybe pull a tray, because I'm sick of this space being used as an office. We know who does it. I'm sick of all the garbage being placed all over the counter right here. Air buds, it's really dark, I haven't turned the light on, but I want this to be cute. So I'm gonna put a tray here so that it stops being used as an office. And the third kid is home. Hi Chels. Hello. We'll decorate the tree later. Yeah. Dad's coming home, which is kind of fun. Even though there's like barely any snow left on the ground. <laughs> it's like all melting away, right? saying some teachers were letting kids go outside to like play in the snow uh, yeah abby said during their nest period everyone ran out to the courtyard and the yeah. field and they were playing out there making well, snowmen they canceled our like time outside like the little courtyard, yeah even though it's gated off so you really can't get down to the yeah field. it's just it, it's they don't want y'all messy like they said you actually wore appropriate clothes for oh, the weather today <laughs> i thought you'd have shorts on when what i was like Pictures. I know <laughs> she did them right as I took the photo like a teacher came up to me and was like no phones allowed I know I, so Abby was like how is she on a, t on a phone call or a text message right now and then um, I was like oh I'm texting my mom because I need to know like, about navigating where I'm going after school yes so, yeah yeah I know see I'm not the only one She's cute. Even the teachers and the staff know that she regularly wears um, shorts. Anywho, we will, I, like I said, Jason is on his way home. The store is dead. It's dead as a door now. It hasn't been this way. It hasn't been this way for a very long time. He's like, no one's going out. Our demographic is like, yeah, no, we're not going to get on the roads. He said it's still snowing a ton up there, um, so up north. And so he's like, you know... We actually could have a lot of snow by tomorrow if it continues to snow overnight. We're down to a rainy mix here, so we're literally, our snow is melting as we speak. 
<laughs> there won't be any snow left tonight. It will freeze again overnight. We might have frost on the roofs again. Um, and we might get snow in the forecast later, but for right now it's all dissipating. We won't be on snow routes tomorrow unless the upper hills um, get a lot of snow tonight and then we'll still be on a snow route, which is annoying, but anyway, it is what it is. You have to just keep these kiddos safe, but I'm gonna wait until Jason gets home and um, Kaylee gets a chance to rest and Ash Chelsea gets a chance to rest. And um, by the time Ashley gets home, I'm sure Jason will be home and we can actually decorate the tree tonight. It's kind of fun to have a little unexpected festive night. All right, we are down at, okay, this is snow route bus stop in the rain. <laughs> just gonna, I'm like second car in line, so I'm just gonna wait right here. She'll walk right past my car. I was able to take Jason's car because he got home. So I've been sitting here for like a half hour. I'm no joke, I've been, it's four o'clock. I've been down here since 3.30 and just watching a show because I knew I wanted to get this front spot um, because otherwise oh, you can't see but all those cars all those lights go clear up a major hill and there I guarantee there's people like I don't even know like a quarter mile or more yeah, up the hill <laughs> walking down now to get their kid um, since Ashley is in fourth grade I don't have to be at the bus to get her she can just get off but I used to have to get out um, and go and get her at the bus when she was younger. So, this is how you do bus route. It's kind of nicer in a Tesla because you can sit here and watch more of a show charging my phone. Um, but hopefully she gets off the bus. Hopefully she gets off. I wonder if they are making parents like come do the bus because I don't see her yet. But it also might not be her actual bus. But we'll see. Just when I thought they weren't gonna let her off the bus without me being there, there she is, right there. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot So 
Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of long sign. And here's an.